For your final nursing community assignment, you will all be interviewing someone from the community that you are unfamiliar with. You will try to learn about them, the way they live, and most importantly, how to improve their way of life. and I'm a senior at UMass Dartmouth. I'm planning on doing a project and I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Right, um, well I'll be here for the next four weeks so about an average time trying to ask some questions, get to know you. Will that be all right? Okay, so let's start with the first question. What's your name? Um, where are you from? <laughs> What do you really want to know about me, college girl? What do, you, what do you think you come in here with your nice college clothes and your backpack and the minute you walk through that door, you thought you knew who I was? You don't know anything about me. You don't know where I come from. Have you ever even seen a Projects college girl? Hey! What are you I'm talking to you! No, I'm sorry. I can't say that I have. Why don't you tell me what they're like? <laughs> Do you really want to know where I'm from, college? You wouldn't even understand. I bet your parents live in some fancy house and drive their fancy cars and your dad comes home at night for dinner. I never had a dad. My mom raised me on her own. Worked two jobs so that we could get by. You wouldn't survive in the projects, college. You wouldn't survive a minute. We do what we have to do to get by. You people think we're a bunch of bums who don't work. That's all we do is work. We work to help each other. And I'm sure, I'm sure you're just wondering, was this girl in a gang? Well, yeah. We all have to be in a gang. That's our family. That's what we have to do to get by. That's what we do to survive. We look out for each other and that's it. <laughs> but you wouldn't even get it. Sick. I'm done. I just, you can come back next week if you have the courage, but you'll never get me college. Hey, college. It's Misty. 
Community Nursing Journal Entry, Day 1. I met my community contact today. I didn't get a question in, but instead got told that I didn't know anything and came in with some judgments. I am afraid to continue. I feel very intimidated. He seeks to understand the stigma attached to being a gang leader. People fear him, his actions, and those he associates with. People are judging based upon looks and stories. Hopefully next week I will establish a better relationship with my contact and get to ask him some questions. I hope to break the stigma through these interviews. Huh. College! She came back. Of course. Why would you have a perfect opportunity to talk to a gang leader such as yourself? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alleged gang leader. Oh, I still got appeal at this company. I'm sorry, alleged gang leader. Um, so last time we talked, you were telling me how being in a gang is like a community. Do you think you can elaborate a little bit more on that for me, or? I mean, yeah, you could use your college word community, but I think we're more like a family. You know, we're in a bad situation such as the projects. So when you say the projects, does that include your gang, or? Well, I mean, the projects and the gang are two separate things, obviously, but... It's kind of like this. The projects gives the gang a place to do business, a place to live, a place to just be together, be a gang. But the gang brings back to the community. I mean, we protect them. We, we care about our community. It's not like we're in there causing a ruckus. We've got kids. We support youth basketball games. We want our members to be educated. We care. So it kind of sounds like you guys have some rules. Is that correct? I mean, of course we have rules. Every business organization has rules. You know, if you mess up, there's a penalty. It's pretty simple, you know? You don't go around causing a ruckus in town. We don't sell the kids. There's a hierarchy. So in that hierarchy, you respect the people that are at the top. And I just so happen to be on the top. It's all about respect. A business, huh? I've never heard it described like a business before. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the business aspect? Of course it's a business, that's the point. I mean, I'm not saying that we get rich or anything, but we do all right. Well, if you're doing all right like you say you are, then why don't you just move out of the project and start a new life? Because I'm in a gang. That's what gangs do, we stick together. Why would I move out of the projects to go get a real job? I mean, you think some guy's gonna hire me with this on my face? Clearly I'm in a gang and that's how it should be. I get protection and I get paid. I get money and I make people money. We have an entire system going and I'm not gonna mess with anyone's cash flow. I probably have a better education than you do, college. What's 28% of 35,000? Uh, Time's up. It's 9,800. I gotta think for numbers and I guess that's what comes in handy is when you're dealing on the streets. You gotta know the odds and you gotta know your percentages. But that's enough for this week. Next week when you come back, I guess we can talk a little bit about how the housing works and the projects. All right, college? All right, then. I guess I'll see you next week. Thank you for your time. Don't mind my bling. <laughs> hey, college, I think you're getting a pretty good education here. You should stop paying me.